Good morning and welcome to the Stock Planner channel. Today I'd like to review some stocks and some trades that I placed yesterday and see how the day is shaping up and plan my morning. This is a picture of a zombie and if you're trading like a zombie, in which I felt a little bit yesterday like I was just trading like a zombie, just going through a routine, taking a step forward without really doing a lot of thinking, you shouldn't really be, be trading at that time. You, sh you should always know why you're placing a trade. What's the outcome? How much can they expect? But yesterday and today, uh, a lot of these stocks that, even some of the stock that I'll show this morning, are trading at their all-time highs. And, you know, just to take a trade, for the sake of taking a trade, you know, I'm not, sh I'm not comfortable sometimes trading at the all-time high. Now, I do think this market has a ways to go up in the next month or so. We have over 300 earnings reports today, big companies. And I think it will be very positive. But once the mask comes off and people start going back to work and the unemployment ends, I think things will get a little tighter and our employment numbers will start dropping. dropping because I don't believe our economy is as strong as our stock market is indicating. So, but I do think I'm positive for the next few weeks. And if you can find some stocks that are, are not trading at its all-time high, but has some little room to maybe to, to hit the highs again, I think it might be a good move. And one other thing is, you know, a zombie just knows what what they what they have learned. They know in a few steps, a few a few expressions, a few movements. You know, kill the person or or, or attack or whatever. They uh, they only have a few actions and. The Stock Planner channel only focuses on stocks at the moment we, we, uh, because I believe you can predict the outcome. You can predict them a little bit more predictable. Um, and it's it generally good stocks. I don't trade penny stocks, stocks that are under $10 that, that much because they're, they're less predictable. Like a, they're, they're less like a zombie. So I don't know. Oh, and one other thing about Bit uh, Bitcoin is another area that I, I'm very positive about. I'm very positive on the penny stocks, but I just don't, I don't know enough about it. And, um, I don't believe it's predictable. Although I do think Bitcoin and Dodge coin has a ways to go up. And a lot of people feel that you should have at least 10% in your portfolio. Anyway, it's nothing about zombies. Um, let's get started on the stock market and see how it looks today and how it looked yesterday. NASDAQ ended a little bit down. S&P was up from its open, and so was the Dow. Some of the big boys didn't do so good. Apple did. Healthcare stocks, consumer defense, energy, the financial, technology and communication services, not so well. Pfizer is going to report today. Oil sliding, and the U.S. futures are mixed. Intel, Intel has some positive news. Estelle Lauder, I don't I have that in my portfolio. PayPal is in my portfolio. PayPal's earnings expected to rise. So you can use that information if you want to add some before the earnings report. These are some of the companies that are present, presenting earnings today. This is tip ranks. I never used this before. So it's interesting. The earning, earnings and the, the recommendation, there's no way of... They're showing in, by, in, in alphabetical order. It doesn't appear to be any way to put your portfolio to see where your Conical Phillips. A lot of people will be watching that today. The trade balance report today, it's not really a big one. Momac member speaks. Nothing's really here to move the market. Let's check what FinViz had to say this morning. I meant training, trading view. Let's see what trading view. We already looked what FinViz had to say. Let's look what trading view has to say. The NASDAQ, the RUT. And the S&P 500 all seem to be in the red t zone today. And Dow Jones seems a little bit up just by a, m a little little blip. NASDAQ over the last three days have been trending down. The RUT, the Dow, and the S&P 500. Basically all mi mixed. I have a database of over 240 stocks. And I run a routine in OmniBroker. That is a simple routine that lists all the RSI stocks. Buy and sell, the MACD stocks, buy and sell, and the stochastic RSI buy and sell. 
it shows the switches for the zigzag and whether recently that whether the stock had went below or above the 50-day moving average which people think it's an indication or trend indication about what the stock is going plenty to look at i'll try to look at the ones with the blue dashes and i'll tell you i bought coca-cola and lowe's yesterday and one other ebay bought ebay at 5805 lowe's at 199.19 and coca-cola at 54.56 now this is for a small account it doesn't reflect the actual chairs that i purchased and i actually did purchase a stock not options but a lot of times i'll use options as well well, let's look at the um let's look at those three ebay lowe's and coca-cola first i have a discord chat that's free a lot of these trades are out there a general chat is out there and these are all the trades i'm going to talk about there's coca-cola you can see it's been trending up and then there's got a support and resistance line and there's some room yet to it's just it's a resistance maybe a dollar maybe two short-term play the stochastics and the RSI are both indicating a buy for Coca-Cola. You have your zigzag that's moving up, most likely. So you can take this trade. I took it for a little bit. I had a little money to spend. And uh, and so I took the trade. I probably thought it only last a couple of days, I think. More comfortable about lows, you have your support and resistance. Your 50% retracement there. you got some room to go. The MACD buy, the stochastics, and the RSI, all given good indication. Lowe's is hiring. That's a good sign. Much more comfortable with Lowe's than I was with Coca-Cola. So I bought. This is eBay, and I've been talking about it for the last few days. And I thought that that gap was going to be filled, and it started to fill yesterday. 58.15 is here, and I bought it at 58.05. Maybe up here. I didn't buy it. I didn't get all this, but I bought it. But I'm going to get some of it. Anyway, would you buy eBay? Would you, would it revert to the mean? I believe it will. Would it retrace back to its 50%? I believe it will. Well, let's cover some of these other other indi indications or singles that I got from my system. Kroger, I believe still it's, it's got a stochastic RSI buy, and I believe it is still a buy. I've been talking about this with this. This is Dollar General, and then you get a MACD buy. Stochastic buy looks good. Nothing on the RSI, though. That doesn't look good. This is one of those zombie trades uh, where nearly nearly at its all time high. I don't know. DXCM, you had your gap on earnings. I'd wait a couple days, but I do think it's going to come back and fill the gap. But Said it's fifty percent retracement already. I'd wait. Oracle, MACD buy, Stochastics buy. Our side's not telling you it's pointing up, but it's really not saying get in. Zigzag is pointing up. It's at its fifty percent retracement, but you might believe it's going to go back and hit its all-time high. I don't know, but I always liked Oracle. So if I didn't have anything else to trade, I'd probably jump in on this one. You had your earnings coming up. 50% retracement there. You have our MACD buy right here. Stochastic RSI buy. The RSI is pointing up. All things are go. This is a this is a, a, a good signal. Do your diligence. Research the stock. Be comfortable with it. And maybe it looks like a good technical, on technical paper. Looks good. Honeywell, you have your MAC crossover here. You're at Stochastics. Zigzag pointing up. Plenty of room. I like Honeywell. This is a long trending stock. You really got to depend on your MACD. It's at this. It's not below the zero line. We like them below the zero line. But this kind, the stochastics MACD is pointing up. You will soon get your MACD. Healthcare will do good over the next two years if you're a long-term investor. If you already own this stock and you want to add a few more shares to it, it might be now the time. But this one's not for me at the moment. I love Humana, but not for me. Johnson & Johnson, Stochastics buy. I say it's yes. Go for it. And this is an ETF. And if you don't have an ETF investment, this might be it. MACD buy. Stochastics RSI is pointing up. Got some room for its sell time high. 
but don't push it. This is a good, you could buy this, but don't push it. If you don't feel like you need to do any trading today, don't push it. Don't be a zombie. Once again, check out my Discord. It's free. I put out the trades out there. There's various different listings. Right now, it's pretty rinky-dink, but and it's not a place to hang out, but it's a place to exchange information. I think it's working out quite well. Happy trading. Do your own due diligence. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the flip.